Hello and welcome to the 54th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at static variables. Statics share a common area in memory so for example if a variable is declared as static within a class then any object of that class will all share the same value for that variable. Also here's another example if for example you have a function and you create a variable inside there so you declare in so it's a local variable which we've discussed earlier on in this series but if you declare that static every time that function is called it will contain the same it you can it will have the same value that was a, that was previously assigned to it and it will be in the same area of memory so that way you can have persistent well so, sorry minus one blank thing you can have persistent values during the life cycle of an application. Obviously, once the application has ended, then it is no longer available anymore. But let's just show you how to implement static variables. It's something that is very useful indeed, especially when you're dealing with stuff like singletons, but you've got to be very careful when using it. Simply because you can have some conflicts, and if you start having conflicts in memory, you can cause some issues with your application. So what we're going to do is just use the class example, create a class called vehicle. Then we're going to create a variable in the constructor, the vehicle. Actually, no, we won't create a constructor at all. We're going to create a static variable called int i. And what we're going to do is simply in here. Actually, before we do this, when you create a static, you have to initialize it. And the way you initialize it is by putting the data type here, like outside the class. Then you do vehicle, uh, int, vehicle. <laughs> Got like butter fingers today. Yeah. Int, vehicle, colon, colon, then the name of your variable, which is i. We're just going to assign you a value of 89. And now we're just going to create two objects. So we're going to do vehicle BMW1 and BMW2. First of all, it's going to print out the value as it is. So C out BMW1 dot. I have no idea what that is going to be. BMW1 dot I. And print out a new line. Run it. A value of 89. But if we were to do bmw2 dot i equals 900 and print this out, we get a value of 900 because there is technically only one i variable within any object of vehicle. And like I said, it shares one area of memory. So any changes that we do to it, it will affect all the variables because technically there's only one variable which they're all sharing so this is something maybe a little complex and we are getting later in this series so we are going to come across more and more complex features of c++ and programming in general that's it for this part of the series in the next part we'll be looking at static functions but if you have any questions regarding this or anything else because it is getting a bit complex now feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube as well all the required links for source code will also be in the description and finally as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day